The sun hung low over Windmere, casting a golden hue across the vibrant kite festival. Laughter and chatter filled the air, mingling with the scent of freshly baked pastries from nearby stalls. Yet, beneath the surface of this picturesque scene, a palpable tension gripped the crowd. The townsfolk whispered anxiously, their eyes darting toward the empty space where Jasper Lark, the beloved kite maker, should have been. As the clock struck two, Eliza Wyndham, a 17-year-old with curly brown hair, stood at the edge of the festival grounds, her colorful scarf fluttering in the breeze. Jasper had promised to unveil his latest creation, a masterpiece that would surely steal the show. But as the minutes ticked by, the absence of the weathered artist became a heavy weight on her chest. She recalled their last conversation, his voice tinged with worry, hinting at shadows from his past. Determined to uncover the truth, Eliza approached Oliver Reed, the town's elderly kite enthusiast, who leaned heavily on his cane, his spectacles glinting in the sunlight. Oliver, have you seen Jasper? She asked, her voice steady despite the flutter of anxiety in her stomach. He shook his head slowly, his brow furrowed. No, dear but you know how he can be, always lost in his thoughts. Eliza's resolve hardened. She would find Jasper. The kite maker's disappearance was more than a mystery. It was a call to action. As the festival's vibrancy continued around her, Eliza felt the weight of the kite strings pulling her toward the truth. The colorful kites danced in the sky, a stark contrast to the growing unease in her heart. Oliver's words echoed in her mind always lost in his thoughts. But this time, it felt different. Jasper's absence was not just a momentary lapse. It was a mystery that demanded unraveling. Eliza's fingers traced the edge of her sketchbook, a habit she had when deep in thought. She remembered Jasper's last words to her, tinged with a hint of worry, as if he was aware of something lurking in the shadows of his past. The festival, with its laughter and joy, felt like a cruel joke against the backdrop of her growing concern. She knew she had to act, to piece together the puzzle of Jasper's disappearance. The festival grounds, once a place of celebration, now seemed like a stage set for a mystery waiting to unfold. Eliza's resolve was clear. She would not rest until she found Jasper and uncovered the truth behind his sudden vanishing. In the heart of the festival, amidst the laughter and vibrant colors, Eliza Wyndham stood as a beacon of determination. The kite strings seemed to whisper secrets, urging her to embark on an investigative journey. The absence of Jasper Lark, the beloved kite maker, was a mystery that loomed large, casting a shadow over the festivities. Eliza's resolve was unyielding. She would not let the festival's joy distract her from the task at hand. The festival grounds, with their bustling energy, became the backdrop for her quest for truth. As she moved through the crowd, her eyes scanned for any clue, any sign that might lead her to Jasper. The townsfolk, caught up in the celebration, seemed oblivious to the mystery unfolding in their midst. But Eliza knew better. She was determined to find the missing artist and uncover the secrets hidden in the shadows of his past. Her journey was just beginning, and she was ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Join us on Storyteller as we follow Eliza's quest to solve the mystery of the missing kite maker.